Welcome to a very special holiday episode of Flurn. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find us on Twitter and Facebook at Flurn. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be filled with uh, silliness and Photoshop and photography in your life on the daily. Today, we're doing a really cool episode. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this. We're making ridiculous Christmas cards and uh, today's episode is featuring Nick, who works here at Flurm. Let's get into it. We got, <laughs> we got a lot of stupid things to do today. All right, <laughs> so to start off, We've got a couple of images of Nick. We actually took these at our holiday party uh, about a week ago and uh, just a real winner. We just have the, uh, a real winner working here at Flirt. And we're gonna be combining these images and actually putting them into, into this background, which we got on Flickr for the, on the Creative Commons. All right, so what we're first gonna do, let's go ahead and bring our images in. I'm gonna bring this guy in and um, to do so, all you have to do is shift click and drag from one image to another one and we're gonna convert the color space. Now you can see this is a little bit bigger than the other image, but it's not a problem. We can always resize it. And then this one, we're gonna save for a little bit. We're gonna do something a little different with this one. Okay, let's hit F to full screen, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and resize it. So I'm gonna hit Command T. That's gonna bring up our transform dialog. I'm gonna link our width and our height, and then we're just gonna kinda of scale this down. There we go. Now, <laughs> The point of these episodes is not to do a good job. Just to let you guys know, these are supposed to be bad Christmas cards. <laughs> so if I do horrible Photoshop, um, just keep in mind, it's, it's supposed to be bad. And, um, you know, just don't do what I do. This is for your enjoyment. We're going to use a magic wand to cut out Nick from his background. I'm going to just click over here and let's click on this contiguous button there. Making sure that we're going to just select this out. There we go. And... We're doing a horrible job cutting him out, and this is this is pretty much exactly what I would do if I was trying to do a bad job. I would not refine the edge. I would just say, yep, that looks pretty good, and let's go ahead and click on the layer mask button, and there we go. Um, I will go ahead and cut that out, but his hair is staying. I don't even care. I know it bothers you, but I don't care. I'm leaving it. <laughs> All right, let's select this out over there, and there we go. We've got Nick cut out from the background. So he's gonna come in, we're gonna have him come in right about from the side, something something like that. Oh man, he's just uh, looking really good. Okay, so he's doing great. Let's go ahead and go back to our other image. Let's go, here we go. <laughs> this guy here, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab the crop tool. So I'm gonna hit C for the crop tool. And then I'm gonna choose like a one to one ratio for this. So I'm just gonna put a ratio of one to one, so we want this to be a square, and we're just gonna choose his face right in the middle of it. There we go, and then I'm gonna hit enter, and it's gonna go ahead and crop that to a square. Now, we get to use some tools that really I never get to use in Photoshop, so I'm actually pretty excited. <laughs> we're gonna get a filter, distort, and to spherize, which I really never get to use. We'll just go all the way to 100%, why not? And hit okay. <laughs> and <laughs> There we go. <laughs> All right, it did. It made him a little bit big. Let's just let's do a little bit less. Let's go to distort, spherize. We'll just do a little bit less so he doesn't like pop out of the frame. We still want him in the in the hair frame. All right, that looks uh, amazing. So now with this spherized version, there's the. We'll just see the before and the after. There's the before and the after. Let's go ahead and move him over to this image. So I'm going to hit shift and then we're just going to click and drag from one image to the other. And there we go, full screen this out and we're ready to go. So I'm gonna hit Command T again for the transform, lock our width and our height, and we're gonna make him even better. He's gonna fit inside. You know what, I think I'm just gonna break some pretty big rules and we're just gonna keep on squishing him. And I'm gonna right click and go to warp. I'm gonna continue to pull him out. <laughs> Why not? There we go, this is bad Photoshop. And you know what, guys? Bad Photoshop is so much more fun than good Photoshop. I, I really must admit, I, um, <laughs> I have been really enjoying doing this to Nick's face. <laughs> All right, let's lower our opacity. I'm gonna show you guys how to use layer masks. So we're gonna grab a marquee tool, the elliptical marquee tool here, and make a selection right around this area. I'm gonna hold down Shift. There we go. Perfect. 
We're going to hold down Shift to make that into a selection. Click on this layer, and then I'm going to click right here on my layer mask button. And we're just going to bring our opacity all the way back up to 100%. And now I can adjust his size. I can unclick the layer and the layer mask, and I can change his size within this ball. So it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, we're looking great. Um, Let's go ahead. I'm going to use uh, my magic wand tool as well to make this selection around his background because we don't want that to be super visible. There we go. And here on our layer mask, I'm just going to hit Command Delete, and that's going to fill that with black as well. Oh, man, this is looking really good. So now we need to figure out how we're going to get this to blend. We could use like an overlay blending mode. We could. <laughs> um, that looks pretty good, but we can see someone in the background there too. So what we're going to do, I'm going to create a new layer above there, and I'm just going to like use the clone stamp tool. There we go. And I'm making sure to sample all layers. So I'm going to clean up this background just a little bit, and that's going to be really nice for if I need some more detail of Nick to kind of show up. There we go. You can use a clone stamp tool. You know what? I'm going to switch to my brush tool here because either one will, will wind up working pretty well. All right, there we go. So just cleaning up the background a little bit. <laughs> oh, Nick has never looked this good. Let's go ahead and with our layer mask, just layer mask in. You know, I'm gonna hit X over here to like fade this in too on the top and the bottom. We really do need a, a nice fade going on. Um, this is just looking really, really good so far. I'm really happy with what we're doing. So next we're going to just, uh, let's brighten this guy up a little bit. I'm going <laughs> to create a curves adjustment layer. We're still using kind of advanced Photoshop techniques. I'm going to hit Option Command G to clip this curves adjustment layer. And we're just going to click and drag this up a little bit. And then maybe it should have some yellow in it. So we'll just pull the blue channel down a little bit. There we go. Let's just see what that looks like on the before and after really, really good. If I hit Command J on this layer, you can see he gets even more overlay. We could change this from like normal to screen. And then, yeah, if we want him to show up a little bit more, which I think that just looks really good. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and group what we have so far. I think it's about time to add some text. What do you guys think? So a new layer, and I'm going to hit T for the text tool. And Type in your text, and then we're going to go ahead and go to our, you can see it's huge. It's way too big right now. So I'm going to go to Window, and then down here to um, Character. There we go. And no, not Channels. I'm going to go to Character. All right, let's go ahead and change the size of our text. And we definitely don't want it looking uh, like that, because that looks way too good. So let's go ahead and make it white and <laughs> We really want to choose a, a font that's just absolutely horrible here. That's my main goal. You know what? We're, we're going straight to Comic Sans. We're going straight to Comic Sans. Oh, man. And can we bold it, too? A bold Comic Sans. Now, we, are, we do have a little bit of a problem. I can't see all the text because of the background. So we need to add a little bit more of that. So we're going to double click here. And now it's time to add some layer effects. We're going <laughs> to. Let's just do a color a gradient overlay. Why not? We're going to do a gradient overlay, and we're going to do red to green. Now, you know what? I'm going to change those colors, though. This green is, it needs to be, like, really bright green. And then this, this one can be, like, a, a darker. It looks almost too bad, so I, I know. It's OK. There we go. That, well, that looks really bad, too. It's like a darker green. OK, there we go. I, I'm trying to make this look bad, but <laughs> there's a certain point at which it just looks too bad. And uh, we want to avoid that point. All right, let's gonna, we're going to put a drop shadow on that for sure. We're going to definitely need a drop shadow. We're going to have this come up from that way. That way, it'll just uh, you know, separate it from the background a little bit. So now you can see, with the drop shadow turned off and on, you can see now it, you can actually read what's going on. And then it's going to need a stroke as well. Let's just put a, a, a white stroke on there. And uh, OK, have a ball. Oh, you know what? We need to change our text. To do that, all you have to do is double click right here. And then you can just select and then delete it. Have a ball. 
And then, all right, I'm going to hit Command J, which just duplicates this layer. And then we're going to write this holidays. <laughs> but we really don't want these to both be in the same font. That would just, that would make way too much sense and that would be absolutely ridiculous. So um, a good way to do that is just click here on your, on your font, font thing, <laughs> your, your font thing. Click here on your font thing, man. Click on your font and then click over here where it says the font and you can just use your up and down arrows to choose what font you want, which is really nice. And you can just kind of go through it. So this is, this is the technical way that I think that you should do, oh, this holidays. Well, it's messing me up because of the colors and everything like that. All right, we're going to change the colors because it's, it definitely should not be the holiday. Ooh, that's pretty good. We're going we're gonna to find it soon. We're going to find the one. I know. I know we are. If you wanted to really step your game up, I would recommend going, ooh, that's pretty good. I would recommend going to like free font, type in free fonts or something like that online and you could get like a Christmas font. But um, we're just not that. Oh, what if I turn this off? Wait, all caps. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep, that's it. We, we found it. I knew we were going to find it, and we just did. Let's just make the size a little bit bigger. All right, here we go. That was, that was just much too big. You can also hit Command-T and then stretch it. And one of the things you definitely don't want to do when you're working with fonts, by the way, is stretch it without like keeping the scale. So like if you hold down shift, you make sure to stretch it without uh, making it too wide or whatever. Um, but we're going to do it anyway, because I really want this to look horrible. <laughs> and that's a really great way to do it. All right, let's double click in here. We're going to definitely need uh, a bevel and emboss on this one. Yeah, definitely needs that. And then the gradient overlay, we're just we're going to have to go red on this one. So we're just going to click there and then we're going to go all the way up here to red. Ooh, god, that's so gross. The red to the green just kind of turns into like poop brown in the middle. Gosh. Okay. I can't even do it. I I can't make it that bad. It's like there's something <laughs> This is still really bad <laughs> actually. <laughs> This is still really bad. Um, I really like that. All right, one thing I'm going to fix. Sometimes when you're using a script, these letters are not. See how they're kind of separating? All you have to do is go back in here. Whoops. Go to this and then choose like negative 10 or negative, there we go, 25. And that's going to change the spacing between each of the letters and see how they're actually joining together. So I actually did teach something real in this episode. That was kind of unexpected. Have a ball this holidays. Oh, man. OK, let's, let's just work on our fonts a little bit more. We can kind of figure out where we want this. Yeah, I like it, I like it better up there. Are we going to make it smaller? I think we should because it, yeah. No, it worked bigger. All right. You know what? I really want to like Comic Sans here, but I just, it's not right. It's just, it's not good enough. It, it's got to be perfect for this Christmas card. So we're just going to click here. We're going to continue to change that just a little bit. And I might take the stroke off. We'll see. Have a ball. Oh, I think we did it. I think we just beat Comic Sans. Yes, we, we really did. You can click on this arrow, and then you can turn off, on and off your effects if you want to, like the stroke and the gradient overlay. And the drop shadow, gradient, yeah, I think it works better without that stroke. What do you guys think? All right, and you can even go in here and double click, like double click on the stroke, and it'll go right to the stroke, and then you can choose how much of a, a stroke you would like. We're almost done, guys. No holiday card is complete without uh, way too much lens flare. So we're going <laughs> to do that. I'm going to hit Shift Option Command N and then Shift Option Command E for a stamp visible layer. And then we're going to go to Filter, and we're going to go to Render, and then down to Lens Flare. Let's go ahead and put one right up here. Generally, you want to keep a lens flare, you know, where a light source is. So, like, right there. Um, that would, you know, make a bit of sense. So, we'll start with that. 
but my gut tells me we should put more than one lens flare on here. So we're going <laughs> to filter render lens flare again. And then this one, we're just going to, I don't, oh, it's, you wouldn't believe it, but it's actually, it's hard to make it this bad. It, it, well, yeah. All right. We're going to do at least another run <laughs> lens flare. Oh man. So when people tell you, when you can tell your family you learned how to do Photoshop on Flurn.com, and then you can send them a Christmas card like this, and they're going to be, they're just going to be blown to smithereens. I know it. They're, the man, it's just going to really just make the world. All right, let's see. And I think at the very, yep, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to make a curves adjustment layer, and I'm going to bring this, uh, the, the dark point up like this, just about right till there. And then um, we're going to make a big selection right here in the middle. Oh, yeah, because we want it to look like it's fading away into snow, right? So we'll make a selection in the middle, hit Command-I, and then we'll go Filter, Blur, and then we're going to put a, a Gaussian Blur on there. Uh, I, think, I, think we, I think we nailed it, guys. I really... I really think we nailed it. Let's put a little bit of red in there. I, there's just some, some part of me that's just like, let's put a little bit of color in here. There we go. It's not even doing anything. So good job, Aaron. That was totally not necessary. Gosh. That's just beautiful. <laughs> that's it, guys. That is our holiday lens flare. Uh, a Christmas card. Thanks so much for watching Florin. We hope you guys had a ball with this episode. Have a wonderful holidays and we'll Florin you later. If you want to be entertained and learn some Photoshop on the way, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again guys and we'll Florin you later. Bye everyone. Hi guys, Kat from Florin here. For more information about this video, please be sure to check out our website at Florin.com. Check out our new pro tutorials which include beautiful glowing skin, and juicy kicks. We also have some awesome free videos like how to do an editorial corporate shoot and how to create lens flare in Photoshop. If you or anyone you know would like a free tutorial, please sign up for our newsletter. It's free. <laughs> this is Kat and I'll flirt you later.